Hello everyone. Uh, once again, Trade More Estate is in the news for all the bad reasons that you can think about. It's flooding once again. For the last few years, flooding has been happening again and again and again within that uh, Trade More Estate and people have been dying. For how long are we just going to continue like this and, you know, people's lives being wasted, people's lives are, you know, meaning nothing to the government. People have been shouting, we case working wiki is working wiki is working or wiki is it is this, this. and you know when you talk it's always as if that oh you hate government you don't like this thing i've done a few videos and i've said to people look abuja is not just asokuru metama and within those areas you're repairing road you're doing the things within uh, those particular areas abuja is a whole lot more there's a particular place we went to when we showed up a particular issue on an on an estate that, that that we had taken there you know i had someone who went in there to go and get a video from that place they really couldn't even the roads were so bad when he came he was telling me oh about how bad the roads are like oh you should have even taken a video of the of the road i've talked about about places you understand uh, near utako uh where is the where police com uh, service commission is i went there recently it was unbelievable jabi that's jabi jabi is it's in the it's in the center of abuja just that place, the roads were bad. A lot of places, roads are not good. You know, you have to be the one to do, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, infrastructure towards that place. I've, I know the number of places I've done infrastructure to in Abuja because you're the one starting building then and all of that. Then they'll be saying, oh, this is working. But before I go on, uh, before I just talk too much, it's just so, it's just so tiring. Just watch this video. This is Treadmore Estate. Two persons just died now. The water took them away. Treadmore Estate. Two persons swept away now by this water. Treadmore Estate. Please. Wow. See the police station. Please. We are begging. Treadmore Estate. FCT minister, come and do something. Trade more estates. Please, we are appealing. Trade more estates. This is crazy. See, the police station this is, is crazy. gone. This is crazy. This is crazy. See, these are people residents. Water wow. everywhere. Minister of FCT. Air trade more estate. Oh, people are dying. This is trade more estate life. Look at residents. See. Honorable Minister. Honorable Wiki. Please come to trade more estate. Look this is so, so bad. What a pity. Two people died this morning. Well, I hope, I, I just pray somehow, somehow, those people that were washed away, somehow, somehow, they get to survive or they're able to swim or they're able to hold on to something. It's, it's really so painful. You know, how life almost seems as if it's nothing. People just get killed in avoidable accidents and most times people just feel oh it's not going to be their portion so they are not trying to let's get all the things that need to be done to to be done this this trade more uh, estate has been in the news for years uh, in in two uh, in 2022 the people had died there was flooding in 2023 the same thing take a look at this video from 2022 is the situation that best describes the fate of some residents of Trademore Mega City Estate in Abuja as bulldozers from the Federal Capital Territory Administration take down structures built on flood path. As the bulldozers take down the structures, some residents hurriedly salvage their properties while others look on in a state of helplessness. The chairman of the FCTA ministerial task team clears the air on the notice given to the residents to vacate the affected properties. We are doing what we are doing here as part of measures to tackle flooding. 
the uh, estate here, there is excessive development on the floodplain and the water corridor. And that has led to the death of uh, some persons. And that is not very worrisome. Uh, for now, we are moving within 25 to 30. But there are several others, about uh, 90 marked for demolition, which uh, we are still engaging with the stakeholders, possibly, possibly, to see what we can do. If you ask those who live around trade more, they have been marked three, four years ago. The chairman of Trade More Residents Association, Phase 2, decried the action of the FCTA ministerial tax team as he insists that the exercise is in bad faith. The only notice that we know of was on Friday last week. We were called to, to, the, to the Development Control Office that we should come there for a meeting to proffer solution on a way, on a way out. Then after we've said one or two things on the way out, and we are meant to understand that the minister has given approval for houses to be demolished. Mixed reactions, however, trail the exercise as some residents condemn the demolition, while others believe it is for the good of all. We after that over two years ago, and we're still on the same thing. And this is always the thing. Sadly, you always find people have built houses where they are not supposed to be. And sometimes it's not these people's fault. They don't know they buy this land. There are supposed to be, you know, uh, bodies that are supposed to check all of these things and mark down houses for demolition that are not supposed to be there. Sometimes they are bribed. Sometimes one thing or the other, they overlook it. Sometimes when they come and people find their way, people change certain things a whole lot of corruption that is going on that's why for me as much as you know houses are being demolished and all of that they have to be punishing people who are working people should be sacked or demoted for not taking care of that place who is the person that is in charge of that place who is supposed to be checking that houses are built that, that meet specification who is the person that is supposed to in short in the way that in Nigeria, we don't need law. In the way that things are built, eh, everything has to be done accordingly. Even like when you're doing your DPC, your mixing, you're supposed to come and start. Sometimes you are the one forcing them to come. Come and do your work. Come and say, I'm going to do this thing. Come and be here. So because people are not being punished, bad behavior is not being punished. People in government are getting away with a lot of things. Those civil servants, our public servants are getting away with a lot of things. And so they continue to do it. They all, uh, uh, citizens now have to be the ones to suffer. It, sometimes you even go and check this thing. The people who have done this estate, they probably have bribed the people there and you go there, they'll say, oh, everything is okay. There's no problem with the land. You end up buying the land. At the end of the day, the land has a problem and then all your investments, you know, destroyed when they come to destroy. That looks as, oh, government is wicked and all of that. But yes, government is wicked in a way because they have not ensured that this behavior uh, stops. It doesn't continue uh, uh, from happening. It's really, honestly, it's just so sad. It's just so annoying. It's just so frustrating. You just wonder what, what you just wonder. And then we have people who are sitting down and shouting, oh, we can't work it, we can't work it, we can't Abuja is much more than Asokoro, um, uh, uh, who say to and metama it's a whole lot more than that and you we everything has to be put in place why are we having people still dying from flood related issues when it does these things can easily be taken care of and then people you know we we, we, we people's lives we, we, we oh lord have mercy people's lives will now matter and be protected just watch this particular video that, I, that you're going to see now. This one was from uh, July 2023. Next month is going to be a year for this one. Uh, this this particular, the next video that I'm going to show on the same thread, more estate on the same flooding issue on the same issue going on. How about? demolitions in the nation's capital a few years ago seriously reduced the spate of flooding in Abuja, especially at the Lokogoma and Lube areas. On this episode of Data in Abuja, we go to Lube, a suburb in the nation's capital, to a place called Trademore Estate. The flood hit Trademore and raised so many questions about the activities of residents in the past few years. My guest helps us understand what the situation is and what the plans are going forward. Meanwhile, on our focus on the nation's capital, we look at the Trademore flood and attempts by the FCT administration to keep neighborhoods safe from floods. And yes, we have an update of major stories from Nigeria's presidency. This is Dateline Abuja.